I'm going to be cooking something that is, well, impossible, if you know what I mean. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do the impossible this week and by that I mean I'm going vegan with the impossible meat or whatever you would call this I mean it, it looks like meat right it's pink and I don't know but I'm gonna do vegan bacon cheeseburgers um, look, I tried the Impossible Whopper when it first came out at Burger King, um, a year or two ago, whenever, whenever the hell it was. I tried it just to see, and I could not tell a difference. I was like, wow, I mean, this is really good. Um, so, I'm gonna try this. I've, I've been this whole week, um, in the time I'm shooting this. I went a whole week without uh, meat just to see what it's like. I'm not going to become vegetarian or vegan or anything because I just, I mean, grilling is like <laughs> life for me pretty much. So, but I have gone this week without meat. I've had like vegan chicken sandwiches and uh, um, just different things that, are actually pretty good. The vegan chicken sandwich was actually pretty good. I, I couldn't tell the difference. It, mm, it oddly smells like spam, kind of. Huh. I don't know. Um... Let's see, I'll just pop this out. I'm gonna get this, uh, I mean, it's a pretty square pound of uh, meat. So I'm just gonna cut it into quarters and go from there. Looks like about half. So I've got my uh, dough cutter, cookie cutter thing or whatever that I use to put my, make my burgers. So I'm just going to pat them out in that. One thing I notice is, I mean, the texture is definitely different. Feels more, uh, grainy, kind of. I mean, it looks like meat. It's got these little chunks of white stuff in it that I guess is supposed to mimic the fat. I don't know what that is and how it's going to work, but I'll add... Uh, I'll add fat to it and I'll use olive, um, avocado oil. Okay, I've got three, well, two burgers made out that I'm gonna cook tonight. And I made a thicker one with the other half of that that I'm gonna use, uh, that I'm gonna save and use for a, like a hamburger steak later in, here in a couple days. So I'm not gonna do this one just yet, but I've got a couple burgers ready to go 
I'm going to throw on the, the griddle. Uh, I would love to have been able to griddle them or grill them outside tonight or today, but uh, it's still cold and of course it's raining today. Go figure. Um, but all the snow and everything's gone, so that's good. So uh, I'm going to get the griddle heated up. We're going to be ready to throw these burgers on. Actually, no. The burgers will come later because I've got something else. I've got this uh, Morningstar Farms veggie bacon strips. This is uh, vegan. Um, no, I stand correct. Okay, so th I'm not making a vegan burger tonight. Um, most of it, but this is veggie bacon strips. It says it does contain eggs, soy, wheat, and milk ingredients. But um, either way, I'm not vegetarian or vegan, so I'm just doing. What I'm doing now. This stuff looks. This looks odd to me, really. I mean, it, it definitely does not look like bacon. It doesn't even look like turkey bacon. It looks like livered loaf or something. You know, it's got the dart and then that white shit around it, or whatever. It looks like a, a dog treat or something, kind of like bacon strips. So I think bacon strips look better than this, but uh, I'm going to try it. I don't know what exactly this is, but I do like Morningstar Farms products, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I like their, their veggie burgers, and uh, I just the other night had their um, the vegan chicken patties. Uh, they were really good. So... Yeah, let's see what see what happens. I've had their their crumbles. It's look it's like like ground beef kind of stuff. I used it for tacos one time a while back, and it was all right. It just it had a little different taste to it. wasn't a big fan of it, but I do like their other stuff. My favorite being the spicy black bean burger. It's incredible. You have to try it. Um, so yeah, this is the bacon that we're going to put on these uh, now not vegan burgers according to that bacon I even went as far as to get vegan cheese too oh well I was going to put mayonnaise on it anyways and that's not vegan because I couldn't find vegan mayonnaise and I didn't have uh, soy milk to make my own vegan mayonnaise so screw it but it's going to be a, a definitely a vegetarian burger not necessarily vegan so, I'm going to get the griddle heated up, get ready to put the bacon on, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I've got just a little avocado oil around the uh, griddle. I'm going to lay this bacon on it. Is it it's weird. It actually, it actually kind of smells like the bacon strips. It smells like dog treats. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna... <laughs> it's a little, little odd. <laughs> but, uh, let's see how, how it works. I've just got, them, got my griddle on about 250. I rarely go very much higher than that. I just kind of, you know, let things go kind of low and slow unless I want like a good sear on something I'll crank it up but I'm gonna let this I don't know how this is gonna react it's not bacon I'm just gonna let it do its thing it smells like oh god no it smells like the crunchy imitation bacon bits so there's a good chance I'm gonna be burping this for the next day and a half and have that taste in my mouth. I can't stand imitation bacon bits. 
that's what it smells like. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to let that go. And uh, we'll be ready to throw the burgers on. Okay, so I decided I'll just go ahead and cook all of this at one time and, and you know, save it. I want you to see this. I mean, this is this one's a little meatier than some of the others. But look at how thin this is. I mean, this is, it is really thin. And smells horrible. But, oh. So I'm gonna cook this batch, and then I'll have another batch to do. I'm just gonna cook it all at once. Then we'll throw the the burgers on. Okay, the bacon is done, and here's what we have: these uh, horrendous-looking strips. But you know, I may try a piece of that before before I actually do the burger. And speaking of burgers, it's time to get these on. So, a little more avocado oil. And I'm just gonna, a little salt and pepper. Watch that splatter. That kind of got me a little bit there. I'll give it a little, just a little press. Make sure it gets good contact. I want to get a little bit of a crust on it. I was gonna, I thought about doing smash burgers with these, but I mean, they're thin enough. They're, I mean, it would have been ended up the same way anyways. pepper on this one Let those cook. A little more salt and pepper on this side. And uh, this is what's going to be interesting is uh, to see. I mean, it looks to me, I don't know if you can see it, it looks to me like, I mean, it's cooking like ground beef or a, a you know, a beef patty starting to get the gray up the edge so i'm gonna wait for it to be about halfway up and well actually i can start to see the the juices come from the top so it is very much like um you know ground beef so <clears throat> get this one over here and a little more of the oil it definitely doesn't smell like ground beef but it seems to be cooking like it because you can see the juices running through so it's not going to take long and we're going to I'm going to flip these all right you can see this is I mean it looks like the the blood like it wow okay so this looks like real beef patties here um, I might let it go just another, you know what, I'll go ahead and turn it, if I can get a hold of it, not a significant crust, but it looks very beef-like. Get those flipped. Now I'm going to add 
the cheese to it and I've got this uh, American cheese, American style and it's vegan, lactose free something else, soy free it's uh, interested to see what vegan cheese is like figure out how to get this open Oh, it's not in individual papers like that uh, processed stuff either. So it <laughs> it does not smell like cheese. That's for sure. None of this smells like it really should. But you know, okay, I'm just gonna have to try to taste taste this. Um, I mean it, uh, it's not good, really. <laughs> it sort of tastes like cheese, but not really. So that's, uh, yeah. See how it melts on these burgers. Alright, I'm gonna pull these off here in just a minute. And then, well, then that's it. It's gonna be time to put this burger together. I may, I may take my onion and saute it a little bit. Okay, the burgers are done. It's time to put this thing together. Uh, I'm excited and a little nervous. I'm not really that nervous about the burgers itself. The bacon, however, kind of worries me. It's a little sketchy. Um, toasted my buns. I've got a chipotle aioli that I made last week for something else. Uh, chipotle, garlic, well I mean an aioli is a mayonnaise with garlic in it. But I added uh, chipotle peppers. Get that on the bun, on the bottom. Um, I made this for a <laughs> basically a monstrosity of a burger kind of a disaster of a burger really um, not in the sense that it didn't work it was delicious but um, so I, I bought these Johnsonville um, bacon and cheddar pork burger patties um, and actually I'll just put a picture up right here beside me and I'll just kind of show you the layers. Um, had the bun. I put a layer of this uh, chipotle aioli on the bottom bun. Followed by the Johnsonville pork bacon cheddar patty. Then I made a big cheese chip. I've done this all on the griddle. Um, big old cheddar cheese chip good and crispy in between two of those patties then I had um, let's see bun burger bun sauce burger cheese chip burger um, hot dog took a Kentucky Legends all beef smokehouse hot dog they're great hot dogs um, Cut it in like three slices, put it on the griddle, so I put it there, then um, sauteed onions, chili, like just a can of the hot dog chili, and uh, mustard, and it was a killer burger, man, it was great, but after like 
about one, two bites. It just disintegrated. I had to eat it with a fork. Um, so that that's that. So I've got this on here. I'm going to put down some uh, green leaf lettuce. Just uh, pile that on there. Next, this burger patty. Big old honk and slice of tomato. And I like a little salt and pepper on my tomatoes. Just kind of adds a little something. So do that. Then got some, uh, I was going to go raw onion, but I figured I'd just throw the onions on the griddle because I love sauteed onions or grilled onions or it's just like perfect on anything. Couple of dill pickles. Something I used to couldn't stand and now I actually don't mind them near as much. Go with three. They're pretty good size. <clears throat> we'll go with a little mustard on this. That was unpleasant. My apologies. <laughs> a little ketchup. I'm not a big uh, ketchup person, but I figured why not? We're going flat out all American burger on this, even though it is basically a completely fake burger. <laughs> so, I mean, looks like a good burger, right? Looks like a real burger. Kind of looks like the Whopper, except with cheese. Except. Fake cheese and, and, uh, oh, shit. Um, hang on. Just realized I forgot that piece of onion fell off. Mm. <laughs> I forgot the, uh, the whatever the hell this is. It's bacon. I said I'd try it. So, um, Okay, that, that is odd because as horrible as it looks and as weird as it looked fresh and, and before I cooked it, this surprisingly tastes like bacon. Um, got it pretty crunchy. I don't know how long to cook this shit. So... I'm gonna try this fatty or in. Fatty. I, I will say this. I think it actually tastes better than turkey bacon. That's okay. So that's a little odd. Um. It does taste like bacon. I just put that piece of nibbled on, on there. And this, I mean, look at that. Can you see that? That looks like a beef patty, right?
Just a little nibble off the beef. Oh wow. So that that bacon actually kind of surprises me. That's it's strange in a, a good way. I mean, it doesn't have a full bacon flavor, but it's not bad. Try this out. Okay, um, it, it to me kind of lacks that beef, that beefy flavor. It's, it obviously doesn't have the same flavor as the Impossible Whopper at Burger King. And they get, you know, still kind of had that burger type flavor. This was the Impossible brand meat. Maybe they have something different. I thought maybe it was the same kind of meat. Um, maybe it's just the way they cook it. But um, it is really good. Like it kind of just tastes like a burger. As much as it's good, I'll just leave it at that. It's it's a pretty good burger. You know, it, it, I think basically the flavor I'm missing there is kind of like the grill flavor and or that, that fat flavor that runs through. Um, but I would, I will definitely buy it again. I buy it again, make more burgers with this. Sorry, I had lettuce stuck to the roof of my mouth. It is good. Um, Okay, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy this uh, impossible burger that is very possible and really easy to make. Um, you definitely, I mean, you definitely don't have to deal with like temperature on this. Um, I mean... I made them thin enough where you're not going to get like a pink center anyways, but I mean, it's vegetable, so there's nothing in there that's going to harm you as far as I know. I mean, I don't know what kind of chemicals they create to do this. The interesting thing to me, I think, is this, uh, <laughs> this bacon. I might have overcooked it a little, but... Surprisingly flavorful. I think it could have used a little salt, maybe. A little salt, or even maybe just add just a touch of like liquid smoke or something to it to give it that hickory smoke kind of flavor that I feel like it's lacking, but not bad. Not bad. It could work in, you know, a bread for like an omelet or something like that. It's pretty good. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this burger. I've got some uh, cauliflower tots to go along with this. Mm. Oh, it's still hot. Okay. I love cauliflower tots. I mean, I love potato tots. I love potato anything, but the cauliflower tots are really good. And even more than that, the broccoli and cheese tots. They're amazing. You gotta check them out. If you can find them, just look in your grocery freezer, find them. So I'm gonna have this burger, these cauliflower tots, finish this beer, sit down, watch a little TV. 
And uh, I'll see you next time when I'm making something that's got three actual meats in it. <laughs> Redeem myself, I guess. It's a good burger. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.